There are two main methods of connecting a disk to a hub. This hub shows the Shimano Centerlock system. It uses a spline. However, if we go back a few years, the standard, if you can call it that, was for a 6 bolt design, as you can see here. It used 6 bolts to connect the rotor to the hub. The hubs having flanges with screw threads in them. The center lock design is becoming much more common on road bike hubs. However, if you want to buy good value discs, they tend to come in the six hole variety. Now obviously this six bolt rotor won't fit directly onto this center lock hub. However, there is a solution to the incompatibility, and that is you can get adapters like this one. The adapter just pushes onto the hub spline like so, and then you use this plate with six pegs on it to push through the holes in the disc into the holes in the hub adapter. The adapter and disc are then secured in place by a lock ring. This lock ring is pretty much identical to the lock ring you find on a cassette, so you can use the same lock ring tool to tighten it up. After tightening it up by hand, we can use the tool and a spanner just to nip it up. You don't need to do it particularly tightly. I think the specification here is for two newton meters. And that's how you can connect relatively cheap six hole design discs onto center lock hubs. Of course you have to buy the adapters, but you can pick these up from about five pounds on eBay or three pounds on AliExpress. If you like cycling and short videos, why not subscribe to 5 Minute Velo, where you can watch stuff about cycling in mostly 5 minutes or less.